Hello and welcome to my latest course on modern JavaScript. My name is Nelson Lacay, and in this course, we're going to be building a fully functional real-time web application using modern JavaScript tools. So I put this course together because I've seen a lack of project-oriented training out right now in this space, and I think the style of training and practice is incredibly important for students to really be able to internalize what they've learned. People need a way to come back full circle and see how to apply these techniques and these tools and these methodologies and these paradigms into something that works as a whole. I mean, at the end of the day, what we do as programmers is build applications and we really need to have the practice of putting all of the little bits and pieces together to accomplish a particular goal. Uh, before we talk about what tools we're going to be using, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be building. At its core, a real-time chat application. So you see two clients connected and we can type messages back and forth and you know, it's just a basic chat room. We can choose a username, blah, blah, blah. Not too terribly interesting, but what is interesting about this application, what makes it, what makes it, I think, a really fun project to put together is that we have this synchronized playlist. So as you see the same video, the same YouTube video is being played on both screens at the same time or however many clients are connected and they're synchronized together. And we have this playlist over on the left-hand side that can be manipulated. Um, it's just a standard playlist. We can, you know, reorder our items, we can remove our items, and we can also force particular items to be um, uh, to be the currently playing item. So yeah, it's a it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun project. So I chose this whole project idea because I think that this gives us a lot of things to play around with with the techniques that I want to explore and bring together. But at the same time, it's a whole application, and so it's an actual actually it's a useful application. So yeah, I thought this was a fun project idea, and it worked out really well with this course. Let's go ahead and jump back to the slides here and talk about what technologies and what techniques we're going to be bringing together in this course. So as you see, there's uh, quite a smorgasbord of different things we're bringing together. Again, that's the, that's the sort of theme of this course, bringing all this stuff together. So let's just run through what we see on the screen here. Uh, we're going to be building this application using a node web server running Socket.io. And Socket.io will provide us our real-time communication between all the different clients so we can, you know, synchronize video and send chat messages and all that fun stuff. And then we're going to be using Gulp. Webpack, Babel, and Sass to bring modern features to our scripts and our styles. So Gulp is our task runner, Webpack is our module bundler, and Sass is going to be our preprocessor for CSS, and Babel is going to be our preprocessor for JavaScript. So that'll allow us to use awesome, awesome modern features in our JavaScript and our styles. Finally, we're going to be using reactive extensions. That's that little uh, little dragon dude right there. And reactive extensions is what we're going to be using primarily for our front-end architecture for dealing with things as they change, for subscribing to streams and updating all of our user interface components based off what was sent from the server. Now, Node, NPM, Webpack, Gulp, and Reactive Extensions are all co covered in depth by my last two courses, and I'll assume some familiarity with these tools, or at least the concepts of these tools. However, don't worry if you've never actually built anything with these tools before, because the whole point of this course is to show you guys a non-trivial example of applying these tools and techniques to modern web development. With that said, I also will expect people to have a, a close to intermediate knowledge of JavaScript to be able to follow along. I, I will do my best to help explain some of the more tricky bits of syntax that we'll be using, but I expect a general familiarity with the language. This is not an introduction to programming and not an introduction to JavaScript. But yeah, if you're interested in my previous two courses, I have Using Modern JavaScript Today and a reactive programming course that covers reactive extensions for JavaScript. So again, if you haven't built anything non-trivial with those, those things before, don't worry about it. Most of the stuff will be covered in depth enough to follow along if you're still new to that sort of thing. And at the very least, you will get a really nice sort of picture about how all these tools fit together. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy the course.